This video comes to you from a mighty wind ministry for the, for the supreme praise, honor, and glory of Yah Elohim, the Holy Trinity, which is Abba Yahweh, Yushua HaMashiach, and the Holy Spirit, the precious Ruach HaKadosh. I'm Yah Sheep 777. You can find the, the ministry at amightywind.com or almightywind.com. And today I'll be reading to you Prophecy 88 which is given to my pastor, apostle, and prophet, Elizabeth Sherry, Elijah Nicomaya. Before I do that, I just want to say a, a prayer. Abi Ahave, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I come before you. I pray that you draw your little ones nigh unto this prophetic word, which is your truth. I pray, Father, that you would cause the scales to fall off their eyes and the wax to come out of their, ear, their ears. Those that know the Good Shepherd's voice, Abi Ahave, they will hear his voice. All others will remain deaf and blind. I pray, Father, that you burn this prophetic word, your truth, into your children's hearts. I pray, Abi Ahave, that you please anoint me to read this prophetic word. Let them not hear my voice, but your voice, Abi Ahave. Let them, um, let them realize these are not the words of Elizabeth. These are not some contrived words by anyone. These are your words, Abi Ahave, spoken straight from your throne as given to your apostle, Abi Ahave. Thank you, Father, for this word. Please bless, uh, please bless your ring maiden, Elizabeth. For her obedience, and I give you all praise, honor, and glory. Abi have it in Yeshua Hamashiach's name. Amen. And before I read the prophetic word, I want to read to you an excerpt from Prophecy 105. It's called I Yahweh Say in 2009, I'm going to shake everything that can be shaken. And this is what he says. He says, I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hand. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yeshua, your Mashiach, that has given birth. It is from the mouth of the Ruach HaKadosh, your Ima Yah, that has given birth. If it had only been by your hand, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth, the holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath, or it would have failed. And the uh, scripture reference is Isaiah 42.8. As you can see, the Almighty One Ministry is not the work of Elizabeth or Nico or anyone else's hands. It is the work of the God of the universe. It is by His hands that this ministry stands, and it will always stand. The enemy cannot take it away. The enemy will not be able to destroy what Yahweh has put to be a blessing in this earth. And so let me see. I'm going to read to you Prophecy 88 now. It's called, I, Yahweh, toy with my enemies. It's written, spoken under the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh through Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah on October 16, 2006. And there's a little um, comment right before it. It says, This prophecy was taped on an audio tape, and it was written exactly the same as recorded. Fifteen minutes of intense, warring tongues came forth before this word came. And this is the, um, the beginning of the word. This is what Yahweh says. He says, and this is a warning to the enemy. You creep in on her while she sleeps. You think that I will not wake her. Although you are invisible, you are not invisible to me. She does not speak your language. Oh, but I, Yahweh, speak your language. You seek to kill her where human hands cannot touch you. Oh, but I, Yahweh, can touch you. You shall pay a price for this. I mock you. I now torment you. For you shall hear your own voice and your own tongue over the airwaves. And you shall say, how can she know our language? How could she know it was I that attacked? It is not her that knows. It is the creator of all that knows. You cannot do anything, O enemy of mine, that I do not know, and she only knows that what I tell her. No more, no less. Just an innocent baby, and I am the father that teaches. She has a Messiah. She has an intercessor. She has a blood atonement. It is my son, Yeshua. Where is yours? You are doomed for hell. You are doomed for the lake of fire. You creep in invisible in the spiritual realm. Sneak in to slay the innocent one as she laid. It is I, ha ha ha, it is I that mocks you. As she lays there, it is I that let her hear you creep in. It is I that said, Elizabeth, listen, although she is fast asleep. It is I that said, the next time you open your mouth, you shall speak in a language you know not of, a tongue you have not heard. But it will be I that speaks forth a judgment to the invisible enemy that seeks to slay you. I'm just toying with you to show you it is I, Yahweh, that knows all things, so that I only give you enough rope to hang yourself, for you shall die on Haman's gallows. I've increased the covering. She has no ordinary husband. Oh, they cry out they want to be ordinary, but there is nothing ordinary about these two, because there is nothing ordinary about this ministry. There is nothing ordinary about the ones that I have ordained to protect and defend. 
So run, run, run. Some of you shall live and some of you shall die this night. But the message will be taken back as your own tongue is heard across the airwaves. And I will give other prophets the interpretation of this tongue much to your horror. You see, every time you attack her, every time you attack her husband or one of the five wise, which symbolizes the five wise virgins, every time you attack one of my bride, there's nowhere for you to hide. I laugh at you, only fit for judgment, only fit for damnation. Those of you who are the enemy of this ring maiden, of this ministry, of my bride, are only fit for my damnation, and it will be hell. In a lake of fire you will reside. And that is the end of the, the prophetic warning. And